what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be something a bit different than like my usual content because i hit 100 subscribers i'm going to be doing a get to know me type of video so those of you who are not interested in this type of video then this video is not for you so then i'll see you in the next video but those of you who are I hope you're gonna get yourself a cup of coffee or whatever the case may be and today we're just gonna sit down together and just have a chat like just friend to friend. If you want to see specifically like questions that I'm going to answer then skip around if you don't want to watch the whole video but first before I start I just want to say thank you to all of you who have been supporting me so far who've been watching my videos who've been liking my videos and just like being a part of this whole journey like I really appreci appreciate each and every one of you guys like seriously so the first question is why did I start a YouTube channel I don't know so it's actually a funny story I started with this YouTube channel with the idea that you know, and before that, I never thought that I'll I'll do something like this. The reason being is I was never that type of person that would put myself out there in front of a camera. I always felt I looked stupid. I always felt that it was in a way beneath me because I thought, no, you know what? All those people are just looking for attention. But then I got this uh, how stirring from a video that Ali Abdal made. You guys know I've mentioned him a lot of times. He's one of my favorite YouTubers that I watch. Wim and MKHB. MKH, he's got a difficult abbreviation for his name, Marquez. And the one day I just decided, listen, let me start. I don't have any equipment. I literally started with my phone without a microphone. You guys can go and watch my first video. And Ali Abdal, if you guys have watched this content, he says, just start, just take a video and just press record and just talk. Just explain who you are, what you're gonna do. And that first video is quite embarrassing still, but from there to where I am now, I've got a camera now, I've got a, all the equipment now and I actually enjoy it. The reason I actually started this YouTube channel was because it gave me something fun to do. I never had a hobby, I never had something that I actually liked to do in my past time. I always used to watch TV and used to do unproductive things and this is a way of expressing myself, of doing something over the weekends. I mean I'm literally bored right now so I decided let me film a video. The next question is what do I actually do? except for this YouTube channel. I graduated last year as an accountant at the University of the Free State in South Africa and I moved back to Botswana because I was born here. I went to school in South Africa, I went to high school in South Africa. This year I started working as an accountant at a school. I never thought and I never wanted to be employed. So this is like a huge shift of what I wanted to do with my life a year ago, two years ago. So that's quite scary but so far, I'm, I'm basically looking at it out of the lens of Rich Dad Poor Dad, where he says, don't go and work for money, go and work for the experience, go and work for the knowledge of the business you'll get. Because ultimately, I know my goal is still going to be to start that business one day or to start whatever. And I'm going to be speaking about that later in the video about like different side hustles that I'm doing. This is just a way to transition from point A to point B. And the end goal, and there's like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4 to get to the end goal. So that's the way I'm seeing it now. And then you guys are gonna ask me, Conrad, why did you decide to start studying again? For those of you guys who don't know, like, let me just give you a bit of context. I hated studying. Last year at the end of the year, I was like, this is absolutely the worst thing to do. Now I decided to study and do my chartered accountancy qualification, which is going to take me about three years from now to finish. That means that in three years, I'll be a qualified chartered accountant. You guys know that I've always liked hustling since high school, in university and even now. I always like doing a few things on the side. Technically I don't like the word hustling because people think it has this negative connotation towards it. But like scamming people and stuff. But that's not the case. The business I've got now is still Kalon, which is my active web business. I've got properties, so I've got two properties that are currently rented out. I'm working part time at a small business that has like five or six different accounts or what do you call it registered accounts i'm working part-time for a property group which i'm the, basically the accountant so if you want to start a business right now what tips and advice would i have for you first of all something i've learned is to start small so first get your they call it the mvp a minimum viable product first get something that you can sell and then sell one of them and then see if you can sell two or three of them before you register a business before you open or think about a name just get that product of yours and try and sell it. You can try and sell it to your family, friends, but preferably sell it to someone that you don't know. Once you do this, then you see, okay, there is a demand for the product. 
Then you go through the stages of registering a business if you need to, setting up an Instagram page, a Shopify page if you are e-commerce, going through all those admin type of stuff that take the most time. But the main thing of a business is, do you have a product that someone else would buy? And if you don't, then it won't work out. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but if you don't have a product that someone likes, or it isn't a proof of concept, then what's the point of even starting it? Sure, but this video is getting long now. So let me answer what are my goals for the next year. For the next year with my CA degree, I plan on doing it like halfway, getting my postgraduate in it. So that means if I can work in a module every three months, then I'll be done in two years, which will be awesome. Then other goals relate mostly to my income every month. I would want to raise my income by like 100% by the end of the year. And <laughs> that's gonna be a difficult thing, but I mean, if I get the signage business, I'll be able to do it maybe. So that's my goal. Basically, it's to do with my career and then also with my income. I think those are the two things that are the most important right now. So in a year's time, where do I see myself? Let's do the YouTube channel thing first. I would want about 5,000 subscribers in a year's time. I think that's reasonable if I continue putting out videos and I continue uploading every week and you guys continue supporting me. I'd want to have gone to Greece or another country, maybe travel to two or three different countries. Also, I'd want my other businesses to make more money than I do at my job. I think that is a big goal of mine. Just to prove the point that I'm not working for, I'm not, I'm not working for a, sa a salary. But I think that was a long conversation and I think the next conversation we're going to have will be in a year's time. Fingers crossed. If you'd like to watch any of my other videos, I'm gonna pop a video up here and up here. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.